Hey, Scout! Oh, hi there, Gumboot Kids. Let's run around. Oh, hi there, Gumboot Kids. It's raining cats and dogs out there, and yet the sun is still shining. Oh, look, I see an upside-down smile. Now, how can rain and sunshine make an upside-down smile? Well, that's today's nature mystery. The case of the upside-down smile. Now let's check out my field notes for three clues to help you solve the mystery. Clue number one. Sky! <laughs> Things are looking up, gumboot kids. <laughs> <laughs> now for clue number two. This clue should brighten your day. Sunshine! <laughs> cool shades! <laughs> That's it, Gumboot Kids. Now, clue number three. Oh yeah, Gumboot Kids, you know how to have fun, rain or shine. Awesome! Okay, nature detectives, let's look at our three clues and solve the case of the upside-down smile. What happens in the sky when sunlight shines through raindrops? Get it? It's a rainbow. That's right. When sunlight shines through raindrops, it separates into colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And it's an upside-down smile. <laughs> Case closed. Now, let's pause and have a mindful moment. There's so many different ways of seeing the world around us. Looking at things from different points of view gives you a whole new perspective. This is especially useful for nature detectives. It's magic in the sky When rain meets sunshine It's a beautiful blessing, don't you know? Oh, oh here comes a rainbow, oh, oh, oh A colorful rainbow, oh, oh, oh A beautiful rainbow The next time you're out in the rain and the sun starts to shine, look up. It will surely make you smile. See you next time, Gumboot Kids. Meet Daisy, she's got a way of making beautiful things. Never know what nature will teach her what inspiration will bring. Gumboot Kids. Hi, Daisy! I was just walking home from the library when I saw a beautiful rainbow in the sky. The rainbow inspired me to make a nature craft, something magical, a wand. Would you like to make a rainbow wand, Gumboot Kids? Yay! 
<laughs> Step one. Head outside and collect some sticks, some twigs, or driftwood. We found our sticks. Aha! <laughs> well done, Gabu kids. I found mine under a tree in my backyard. Step two. Collect some yarn, wool, ribbon, or embroidery thread from your craft supplies. I've got some string and wool. Who wants red? I do. Thank you. Imagine what you'd like your rainbow wand to look like. Maybe some pom-poms would look cool too. Pom-poms are fun. Step three, have fun. There's no right or wrong way to make a nature craft. You can use your ribbon or yarn to wrap your stick and make it look like a colorful rainbow. Like this? That's it. I like the feeling of wrapping the string around the stick. You're doing great. Great work, Gumboot Kids. Take your time and enjoy yourself. Once you're done, your rainbow wand is ready to play with. I love it. Yours looks beautiful. Thank you, yours too. All done. Okay, Gumboot Kids, let's see what you've made. Beautiful. You're so creative, Gumboot Kids. Now let's see if my wand works. <laughs> it's magic! See you next time, Gumboot Kids. Goodbye, Daisy. La 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 It's a beautiful blessing, don't you know? Oh, oh, oh. here comes a rainbow, oh, oh, oh. A colorful rainbow, oh, oh, oh. A beautiful rainbow, don't you know? Way up in the sky. Here comes a rainbow, oh, oh, oh. A colorful rainbow, oh, oh, oh. A beautiful rainbow, don't you know? in the sky There's magic in the sky When rain meets sunshine It's a beautiful blessing Don't you know Oh, oh, oh. Here comes a rainbow Oh, oh, oh A colorful rainbow Oh, oh, oh A beautiful rainbow Don't you know Way up in the sky La, 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 la Good morning, Gumboot Kids. I've just been out for an early morning walk. On my way home, I noticed someone walking beside me. He looks rather familiar. When I looked more closely, I saw he looked just like me. He could have been my twin. How curious. Who was this tag-along twin? Well, that's today's nature mystery, the case of the tag-along twin. Let's check out my field notes for three clues to help you solve the mystery. Clue number one. Sunshine! <laughs> it's sunny out. <laughs> cool. 
cool shades on a hot sunny day. Now for clue number two. Look, we found it! <laughs> Sidewalk! <laughs> oh yes, you walked right onto that clue. Now for clue number three. That's right, you're clue number three. <laughs> okay, now let's connect the clues to solve the mystery. The gumboot kids are on the sidewalk with the sunshine above. So where is this tag-along twin? Hmm, I don't see a tag-along twin. Stand with the sun behind you and look down on the sidewalk. My shadow. That's right! When sunlight hits something that blocks its light, a shadow is created. And when you move, it follows. It's like we all have a tag along twin. We did it! Case closed! Yay! Wonderful! Now let's pause and have a mindful moment. Where there is light, there are shadows. Your shadow is like a best friend because it's always by your side. You can always have fun spending time with yourself because you are your own best friend. You can be kind to yourself, make yourself laugh, even give yourself a big hug. We meet up, go outside, for a walk, side by side, jump around and dance around. It's funny how we do the same things. We go out at sunrise, go home at night. I love shadows. They're a lot of fun, any time of the day. See you soon, Gumboot Kids. Hi, Gumboot Kids. Hi, Daisy. I have a fresh piece of paper here, just waiting for a nature craft. A new piece of paper makes me feel like anything is possible. The sunlight through my flowers is casting a shadow. <laughs> How inspiring! Would you like to make some shadow art, Gumboot Kids? Yay! <laughs> Step one, collect some interesting shapes from nature. Maybe a pine cone, some flowers, or some branches. Imagine what shapes will make fun shadows. You can even use an animal figurine. Ooh, look at these. I found some cool shapes. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> yes, that's it. Just like that. Step two. On a sunny day, place your objects next to a piece of paper so the objects cast shadows. Use a pencil to trace the shapes of the shadows on your paper. This cow cast an interesting shadow. <laughs> What are you chasing? I'm chasing an owl figure. It looks cool. Step three. Use colored pencils or paints to color in your shadow outlines. Choose colors that make you feel happy. I love the color blue. And have fun. There's no right or wrong way to make a nature craft. This is fun. Okay, Gumboot Kids, let's see what you've made. 
cool. I chase tulips. I chase the moose. You're so crafty, Gumboo Kids. Check it out. I trace the shadows from the flowers on my desk. <laughs> See you next time, Gumboot Kids. Goodbye, Daisy. Whirling, twirling, spinning, swirling, dancing with the wind. Soaring swiftly, lift me, flip me, spin me round again. I see it in the trees, the way they sway all around me. I see it in the water, the sky, the leaves, the grass on the ground. I feel it in my hair, my hands, my heart. The whistling, whirling, howling wind I'm growing to know. Twirling, spinning, swirling, dancing with the wind Soaring swiftly, lift me, flip me, spin me round again I see it in the trees, the way they sway all around me I see it in the water, the sky, the leaves, the grass on the ground I feel it in my hair, my hands, my heart Whistling, whirling, howling wind, I'm growing to know. I see it in the trees, the way they sway all around me. I see it in the water, the sky, the leaves, the grass on the ground. I feel it in my hair. My hands, my heart The whistling, whirling, howling wind I'm growing to know Oh, hi, Gumboot Kids. I've been potting these plants. Aren't they lovely? Oh, no! I cracked it. Hmm, that reminds me. Last night, I saw a bright flash in the sky outside my window, then heard a loud crack. What could that be? That's today's nature mystery, the case of the cracking sky. Let's check out my field notes for three clues to help you solve the mystery. Clue number one. Ooh, look at those dark clouds. That's right, Gumboot Kids. Now, clue number two. Light! What was that light? I think we better take shelter. You were lightning fast finding that clue, Gumboot Kids. <laughs> clue number three. Did you hear that rumbling sound? The whole building shook. That was loud. And scary. Don't be afraid. You're safe here. Good detective work, Gumboot Kids. Now let's put the three clues together to solve the case of the cracking sky. You found the dark clouds, a bright light, and you heard a loud noise. So what's with the cracking sky? Hmm. I wonder. Oh, I know. It's a thunderstorm. 
That's right, nature detectives. The loud sound of thunder happens when a lightning bolt makes the air move and heat up really fast. It sounds and even looks like the sky is cracking. So the thunderstorm is a cracking sky. We did it! Case closed! Yay! Way to go, Gumboot Kids. Now let's pause and have a mindful moment. Thunderstorms are exciting, but they can also be scary. It's always best to stay safe and take shelter in a thunderstorm. Do you get scared sometimes? Try taking some deep breaths. Inhale and fill your tummy like a balloon. Then exhale slowly. And again. That's right. Belly breathing helps you feel calm by reminding your body that you're safe. The first sign. Skies get dark. Wind picks up. The rain starts to fall. It's electrical. adventure. Ah, that was a big one. I'm sure glad I'm snuggled up and safe in here by the fire. <laughs> Good night, Gumboot Kids. Good night, Scout.